Football coach is facing a possible suspension. The WPIAL ruled that Valley will be ineligible for the playoffs unless the school suspends the coach. The decision comes after a fight broke out between Valley and Elwood City on Friday. Christine D'Antonio has more on the story. WPIAL says that Valley High School now has a choice. Either suspend the head football coach or forfeit the opportunity to compete in the playoffs this year. This is the fight that sparked a hearing with Whippeal officials. With two minutes left in the game, Valley and Elwood City's football teams got into a fight on the field. It was just unbelievable. I couldn't believe it was happening. In the halls this week at Valley High, conversations about what happened. They're just like talking about how Elwood City and Valley got into a big fight. Jonathan Hummel is a freshman at Valley. He wasn't at the game, but says the talk in the school is that things were racially motivated. They're saying that they said like racial slurs and then they just like got into a big fight. After a closed door hearing, the Whippeal board decided to bar Valley from the playoffs unless the school suspends Coach Muzzy Colosimo. The reason that Colosimo decided to not finish the game after the fight. It was all racially motivated. It was like the N words all over the place, spitting in our faces, stuff like that. And both a coach was, was gripping up our players. Come on, man. And, and, and we get penalized for that? Oh, yeah? That's wild. Whippio also put both the Elwood City and Valley High School football programs on probation through 2018 and publicly censured Colosimo and Elwood City coach Nick Hand. Elwood City says it can't comment because it hasn't received anything in writing from Whippio. Valley did not return KDKA TV's calls today. Both Elwood City and Valley High School now have to submit a written report to WPIAL officials saying what steps will now be taken to make sure that this type of incident doesn't happen again. In New Kensington, Christine D'Antonio, KDKA TV News.